fancy book to bell jar by Dudley Platt. It has 240 different pages and it was published by Harper Perennial in 1971. It was written in the 1950s. That was the era of rock and roll with Elvis Presley. The fashion trend started. There was a lot of inventions and innovations. And the Vietnam War started in 1959. Um, w. Platt was born in Boston, Massachusetts, October 27, 1934. She went to Smith College, and in, after she tried committing suicide the first time, she got a scholarship back to Cambridge University to finish her degree. She won a Pulitzer Prize for her poems in 1982 after she had already died. Some of her collections of poems were Ariel and Colossus. She married Ted Hughes, who she later divorced. They had a son, or a daughter, Frida, and son, Nicholas. She eventually committed suicide February 11, 1963, and this book is related to her life. Um, the book is basically about a girl, or the characters are Esther Greenwood, her mother, Mrs. Greenwood, her Esther's college boyfriend, Buddy Willard, who is very smart, he went to Yale, he on to medical school. Uh, Doreen was a girl that she met while she was working for a magazine in New York. And Betsy was also another girl who she met working for the magazine in New York. Doreen was very a very rebellious person as but Betty was very cheerful and optimistic. And then there was Dr. Gordon a psychiatrist who would help, or tried to help Esther. So the book starts with Esther. She uh, gets invited to go to New York and work, help edit a magazine. She goes, and there are 11 other girls who are invited, including Doreen and Betsy. Um, they are stay in a woman's hotel where she is all woman. <laughs> and uh, on her last night in New York, she agrees to go on a blind date with that Betsy had set up. Um, the man that she goes with, uh, rapes her which sends her even more into depression. Um, she, after that, she returned home the next day, and her mom told her that she didn't make it into the writing program that she wanted to be in, so that kind of upset her. But she decided to spend her summer writing a novel, or writing her first novel, and, um, start learning shorthand so that she could get a job and writing her senior thesis. Um, she, that's when she first started to cut herself off from the world. She stayed at home a lot and she just didn't go anywhere. She didn't really talk to anyone except for her mom and even that was kind of rare. She didn't shower, she wore the same clothes every day. And she just started to feel worse and worse about herself, and she decided that she wanted to commit suicide. So, she, uh, well, she couldn't read or write or sleep, so her, that's all her mother knew. So she took her to a psychiatrist, and that was Dr. Gordon, and he had he prescribed an electric shock therapy treatment to try and help her. So she, they thought it did help her, but really 
to get it. She is still sad and depressed, and she just felt worse and like she really wanted to kill herself. So then she actually tried to. Um, she tried, she was going to slit her wrist, and then she was going to hang herself, and then she tried drowning herself, but none of those worked. So she got a bottle of pills, like a sleeping pill. She hid in a crawl space in her basement. And she took all the pills and she thought that was it, that her life was over. But I'm going to stop there. You'll have to read the rest of the book to find out what happened. Um, well, the book is set in the 1950s because it's based on the life of the author. It's set in New York, Boston, and Boston's surrounding suburbs. Um, the character that I feel I relate best to is Betsy because she's cheerful and optimistic and I feel the same way. Um, one of the biggest symbols in the story was that the term the bell jar. It means an environment in which um, you're cut off or protected from the rest of the world. In this case, she Esther was cutting herself off. So this is going to symbolize is Esther, and the rest of the figures are going to symbolize society. So then this would be the bell jar, and she cut herself off from the rest of the world, and she <laughs> and it just it forced her into that depression and feeling really sad. Um, I would recommend this book for grade 9th and up because it was kind of hard to understand. And I would recommend this book. It's kind of slow in the beginning, but towards the end it gets a lot better.